Hello and welcome back to NHB Retro. On the channel today, we're going to be putting together one of these nifty little uh, VGA cards for the Apple II, which allows you to um, do just what it says. You get nice, crisp VGA output from your uh, classic Apple II computer. There are several versions of this board available. Uh, I chose this one just because it is extremely simple, almost all through-hole components. Um, very easy to put together, uh, and that's of course because it uses a Raspberry Pi to do all the actual computational uh, tasks that it needs to do. Um, these are also available at, on Etsy and other places, pre-assembled, very, very reasonably uh, priced. So if you're not into building one yourself, uh, that's certainly uh, a valid option as well. But I really enjoyed putting this together, uh, so let's jump right into that footage. Um, and get this thing built, and then we'll test it out a little bit. All right, let's uh, take a quick look at the board before we get started here. Uh, it's very, very simple. Um, got a few ICs, um, a row of resistors, uh, some switches and headers, and, um, and of course the uh, spot for the Raspberry Pi Pico that is the star of the show as well as the uh, connection for the uh, the actual um, cable that goes out to the daughter board that has the uh, VGA connector on it. Um, I'm going to be following along with the uh, build instructions that are provided on the GitHub page. And I think the GitHub page is actually linked uh, right here. Uh, I will also link it in the uh, description for this video. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. I think uh, the first task is to get those resistors in place. Let's go ahead and get that started. All right, for this next part, uh, there is actually one surface mount component on this board, as you can hopefully see there. There we go. Q1 is a small surface mount. Uh, I believe it's a diode uh, of some sort. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt that. This is the first uh, <laughs> surface mount anything I have ever tried. This one does not look too bad, though, so let's give it a shot. Alrighty, the uh, small surface mount resistor went okay. It's not perfect, but I think it's uh, totally fine. I noticed I skipped installing the 10K resistors. Those are in now. And next up, we have uh, four little um, 0.1 microfarad uh, capacitors. Now, let's get those installed. Okay, with the uh, capacitors installed, it's now time to put the uh, four sockets in and the, um, the VGA connector, which is actually this IDC connector up here. Uh, and then we have a, a little teeny reset button to install right there. Um, and then we should be in the home stretch, just really coming up on getting the Pico mounted.
Okay, uh, with all the components installed, final step is to get the uh, Pi Pico installed. And I'm going to be surface mounting this. And in order to get everything lined up, I'm going to be using a row of pin headers that I'll just uh, sort of, well, let's see, something like this. I'll just, um, eh, this is hard to do when you're looking through the camera. I'm just going to align these with the pin headers like so and then solder the opposite side and then repeat, re reverse and repeat. So, um, all right, here we go with that. Okay, so that was a bit of a unique soldering experience, I would say. Um, I think it came out okay. The technique is a little bit different yeah, I ended up kind of flooding some of them with a little bit of solder and then kind of having to drag off a little bit. Um, but I th yeah, I think it basically went okay. The three pins at the end, the debugging pins, are not connected. That's uh, as appropriate. Uh, okay, and now I think we can move on to making the small um, daughter board for the actual VGA connector. Okay, and here is that... Um, tiny board. It really just converts the IDC cable connector from the card to a um, nice standard VGA plug. So let's get those uh, soldered on there. Should be getting really close to being able to test this out. Okay, and just like that, we've got it, um, the connector end all soldered up. Let's get that flux cleaned off there. It's a little bit hard uh, soldering some of those middle pins. They're awfully close together, um, but yeah, no big deal. Uh, all right, and now let's move on to uh, making the cable. Okay, let's go ahead and get this cable made. Um, we've got a, a length of, uh, what are these, eight? 10, eight, yes, eight conductor uh, wire. Being careful with the alignment of the strip. Um, this might be a little bit short, but I've got a lot of this and a lot of these connectors. Uh, let's just go ahead and get one made. So um, I think I've shown these before on this channel. They're very simple. You have these little um, pre-made ends. There's a little slot in there with some um, conductors poking through. Basically, just insert the cable through like this. I like to use a, a set of channel locks, which are huh, become magnetic apparently, um, to just kind of clamp it down. And magically, those pins will line up with the cable. Kind of snaps in there, and there we go. I mean, I'll trim off that excess part, and then for the other end, it's just rinse and repeat. Uh, let's see here. Just like that. Make sure we're kind of aligned. All right, and there we go. Now we've got a nice little cable. Put that in there. Yeah, that ought to work. All right, um, you can see that I've made two of these here. One of them is set up with the two plus version of the of the image, and the other is set up with the two e. Uh, image which you know they have different support for double high res and things like that. Um, I'm going to make another one of these cables and then we can go ahead and uh, test these out.
Okay, we've got our uh, VGA card uh, all assembled. And an interesting side effect of the way that these things work, which is just by, you know, they don't actually use the video signal from the Apple II, they just watch some memory addresses and soft switches and that sort of thing, and, and then display what the card knows the Apple II should be displaying. So because of that, if you don't have it plugged into an Apple II, as I do not here, and you just connect it up to a VGA monitor and you power it via the uh, USB socket on the uh, Pico, it will think that it should be displaying a, uh, an Apple II text page full of the inverse at signs, um, which is pretty cool. So we can, that gives us a way to test it without um, separate from the Apple II. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to turn this on. Both the VGA monitor and the card should, and there we go. So that looks a lot like uh, an Apple II character display. It's pretty sharp, looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and get this uh, put into an Apple II. This one is the, the 2E version that I put together, or that I have the 2E firmware uh, installed on. Let's get it into an Apple II and just uh, let it do some. Apple II stuff. All right, we've got the card installed in this Apple IIe. We've got some of my favorite software from back in the day uh, in the disk drive. It's connected up to the VGA monitor. Let's just give it a boot. Get past the cracked row page. And there you go. <laughs> uh, just like that, we have uh, rock solid, really crisp looking uh, output from our Apple II onto this VGA monitor, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, and yeah, it looks really, really good. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed following along with me as I put uh, this card together. I actually put two of them together. Um, so I would always have one for 2 Plus and one for 2E just ready to go super simple card to uh, put together and pretty much just works right off the bat. Uh, I did I did order my circuit boards from um, PCBWay just because I'm very familiar with them and they've always done good work for me but of course you can um, order this from anywhere that you want. I, I just downloaded the, the Gerber files directly from the GitHub page and um, yeah sent them in and, and uh, that, that was all it took. So again, very fun project. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you on the next one.